Good morning. When people talk about the deals of the North Pennines, most people think of the larger ones, such as Alston Moor, Teesdale or Weirdale. Well, today I'm going to explore some of the lesser known ones, starting here at Hurry Reservoir in Baldersdale. Hurry Reservoir in Baldersdale, the smallest of three reservoirs on the River Balder. But that doesn't detract from the gorgeous scenery around its banks. Well worth a visit. morning. As I leave Hurry Reservoir behind, some people may be saying, ah, is there any mountains on this one today? And the answer is no. There is a hill, but at 425 metres doesn't make the mountain classification. So why am I doing this? Well, the North Pennines is a vast area and it would be unfair to focus on just the mountain peaks without also exploring some of the gorgeous valleys that I found in this area. So where am I heading today? Well, as we leave that reservoir behind, I'm heading eventually to somewhere famous. And once I'm there, I will eventually reach somewhere else famous. But where? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Let's go. And as I leave Harry Reservoir, welcome to Blackton Reservoir with a slight detour. Yes, something worthy of a five minute detour. It has to be mentioned about the size of the plug hole drain on this reservoir and the fact it's still full in June. Amazing. As I walk along this permissive path, around Blackton Reservoir. Something catches my eye. So much so, I have to take out the camera. Unfortunately, this is the only image I managed to capture on today's hike due to the weather changing. But still thoroughly enjoyed capturing this image. And here's where we leave Blackton Reservoir and join the Pennine Way.
And here we are, at a famous place, Low Burke Hat Farm. Now then you probably say, well, what's the connection? Well, you might have noticed there's a lot of farming programmes on the TV lately, like Yorkshire Farmer, and I believe even Jerry Clarkson has a farming programme out at the moment. And before all that, in the 1970s, Tyne Tees region showcased another farmer who was an elderly woman living on her own, living and working a farm that had no gas, water or electric. She lived here and her name was Hannah Hawkswell. And this is Hannah's meadow. Obviously when she was farming, she didn't have a lot of money and she had no money spare for fertilizers or any kind of artificial means of feeding the grass. So it was left natural. And so it's been kept natural in her memory. Leaving Hannah's Meadow behind and following the Pennine Way along East Hunder and past Hazelgarth Rig till I reach the top where we now leave Baldersdale and head into Loondale. The scenery here is gorgeous as I wander past Kelton Hill as I slowly make my way down to Grassholm Reservoir. As I come down the Pennine Way, which of course the last time I met this path was in the last video, Birkdale Farm to Cauldron Snout. And it, it is a totally different landscape at the moment. Um, much more green and arable, shall we say. But Baldersdale is behind us. And now we head to Loondale and Grassholm and Selset Reservoirs. And it's just absolutely picturesque. Tell you what, let's go for a spin time. So if I stop and I slowly spin around. Here we go. How picturesque is that? Anyway, onwards we go. What a glorious day. Grassholm Reservoir is currently drained due to them doing work on the slipway at the dam, which means a rare opportunity to view the Pack Horse Bridge, which is normally submerged in the reservoir. What a glorious day, and what a tremendous view. And here we go more of the Pennine Way. Still climbing, but what a view. Yes, in the distance there, I can make out Wernside 
in Ingleborough in the Yorkshire Dales. And from here I can see Loondale over the top and into Baldersdale and over the top into the Stainmore Gap. Amazing up here. As I approach the highest part of this hike, the views around are stunning, of Loondale leading into Teesdale. And with that, I continue the hike around the side of Harter Fell before heading down to Middleton and Teesdale. Welcome to Middleton and Teesdale. As I leave Harterfell behind, passing the Bronze Age settlement of Kirk Carrion, the view of Middleton Teesdale is stunning. And here's where we leave the Pennine Weir and head along the River Tees. Even on a warm day like this, the River Tees, due to the action of impounding dams like Cow Green, is still surprisingly full. Not bad at all. Time for me to start the return journey via some industrial heritage. We are now walking along the Tees Valley railway path, slowly making our way back to our starting point. And you never know, there may be some surprises still in store. And I will be honest, it is nice to get up the direct sunlight for a while, because it is quite warm today, but still, thoroughly enjoying it. I've driven past this many times, but it's the first time I've gone over the top of it. The Loon Viaduct. Enjoyable lot. As I make my way through fields, slowly returning towards Harker Hill, the view behind me becomes ever more spectacular. that high up, snow poles have started to appear. And with Harker Hill behind me, it is a slow and pleasant hike back to my starting point at Hurry Reservoir. It amazes me how many of these Victorian dams and reservoirs have toilets attached to them. And 
as this hike draws to a close, it's been a varied one, but still amazing, absolutely tremendous. Hope you've enjoyed it as well. But if you've enjoyed the reservoirs, the Pennine Way, the special places, or even just the journey. Do not forget everything you've watched, everything you've seen. This is nature.